guys, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, and I'm a homeschooling mum of three in the UK, but you probably already know that because you're here on my channel. And I'm whispering because we've got an amazing surprise for our kids, and I'm gonna take you with me so you can see what it is. Shall I tell you what it is? It squeaks. Shh, I won't tell you anymore. <laughs> you can just wait and see. Now, I'm to our local Tesco Express. Snack. The thing I'm up. I spy with my little eye something that is pink. Yeah. It is my lollipop. We have to do rock paper scissors to decide who's going to win. Who's going to be the uh, little one? Okay, so we got letters, well done. No, no letters. Uh, I spy my life by something that is the colour blue. Those building things? No, they're that containers, sign. darling. No, that sign. That sign. That sign, damn it, yes. <laughs> that sign, that sign, that sign. <laughs> A little square that tracks a face or something that moves, and the children are arguing over who gets to have the square. I on their want face. That one. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get that one, Albert. There you go, we got that one. That's the best you can do, Albert. Well, that's because you're further behind Mummy's chair than the other two are. Put your hand out on, track your hand. Okay. Now, you lost it. Um, mommy, what is it? It's it's a paddling pool. It's just really like smushed up because the bark is breaking. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Oh, oh, 
or is it the birth pool? Or did we pick the guinea pig up a day early? It's tiny! Hello, I'm a guinea pig. Squeak, squeak. I want to hold him. Do you want to have a quick cuddle? No, just Charlie's guinea pig. Unstrap, Charles. No, it's just Charles going to hold him at the moment. Right, sit down. Now he's very skittish because he's very little. A bit worried, aren't you? He's five weeks old and he's a little boy. You can hold one, just you can hold him when we get home. But he's Charles's guinea pig. <laughs> if we're going to start having a tantrum, if we're going to start having a tantrum, you're not going to hold him when we get home. Can I hold him now? Yes. Yes. Does it matter if he poops? Throw it out of the window. Right, hold on, take him. Take him like you would a normal guinea pig, hand under his bottom. Ah. There you go. Welcome to the family. You definitely want to call him Nugget. Any particular reason why you want to call him Nugget? Yeah. What if he ends up being ginormous? He won't be a Nugget anymore. <laughs> he yeah, he can demonstrate. Yeah. Oh, biscuit. <laughs> and then he'd be mine. As, I, as we said, it would be nice to call him a peep, give him a person name. And if you really want to call him call him Nugget or whatever, then that's fine. He's your guinea pig. That's a guinea pig. Yeah, it is. Definitely want to call him Nugget. No? He's already giving me a nibble. But that's, I, I don't think nibbles is a good thing because you don't want him to nibble. Is Albert unstrapped or taking his arms out? Just taking his arms out. Oh, Albert. I mean, Arlo is kind of We know you do. Name. Yeah, Arlo's a human name. Arlo. That was your first, that was the first name you said, wasn't it, when we talked about Arlo. Arlo. So there we are. There is little Arlo. Welcome to the family, Arlo. And I'm on my own thing. You do have your own game. Doing to him, person. Stop nudging him in the bum. I see him on him.